And finally for you, it's considered the new cool drink of the season in the Hamptons, and not just there. I took a few sips to figure out why rosé is blooming as a favorite among wine drinkers. As the weather warms, it's a familiar sound and sight at vineyards out east. But did you know that rosé is now considered the new champagne of the Hamptons? Definitely the rosés do seem uh, to be on everybody's menu now. Rosé sales are booming at Long Island vineyards. At the Wolfer Estate in Sagaponic, folks even pose for photos in front of the rosé wall. Wine master Roman Roth says two-thirds of their vines are dedicated to rosés from a grape that grows vigorously in the East End landscape. We are surrounded by the water of Long Island and that gives us this uniqueness of elegant sea breeze, of freshness, of acidity, of food friendliness. Roth says his vineyard sells 64,000 cases of rosé worldwide, proof it's not just popular in the Hamptons, as any of these many tourists will quickly tell you. Especially in the, uh, in the nice restaurants down where I'm from in Miami Beach, rosé is definitely the luxury wine everybody likes to drink. The Channing Daughters Vineyard in Bridgehampton produces seven different varieties of rosé, and they ship 6,000 cases of it around the country. The common perception of a rosé is that it's pink in color, but they actually come in many shades and varieties. And it can range from almost white to almost a, a ruby red, and, and can be made in many different ways and styles as well. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Welcome a rosé toast that's being heard around the world. Yes, tis the season. Now, all the winemakers agree that rosé's popularity makes it a good pairing for any food.